All right, let's start with Huffud, which is actually Swedish for head. Mikhail over there runs Huffut. He makes custom hats. They're all made by hand. And he has here ready-made hats, and he'll also do a custom job. Has many different colors, many different sizes. Here we have one. Let's pick this dark brown rust rabbit and hair deluxe blend. Two hundred fifty U.S. dollars. He has detailed images of all his products, and he has gained a fantastic reputation from the people who have bought his products. But it's. Huffbud.com. If you have a favorite Indiana Jones or a suggestion for somebody's first Indy hat, please let us know in the comments below. All right, up next is David Morgan. David Morgan is a company that's been around a long time. A very popular seller of hats. She has a Kubra, Panama hats, Tilly hats. We're gonna go for the Akubra. What we are gonna look at today is exclusive to David Morgan. There it is, it's called the Adventurer. And it is also sold open crown, like the Federation Four. The dimensions of the Adventurer are slightly larger than the Federation Four. A really fine looking hat. People that have this hat really love this hat. This is what it looks like when you first get it. And after it's shaped. But let's see, the uh, open crown is five and a half inches. The raw edge brim is three and an eighth front and back and two and three quarters on the sides. So it is a little bit larger than the Federation Four. It's Imperial quality fur felt, like the standard Federation Four. Those are both Imperial quality felt. It's got a one and a half inch grow green ribbon. It's fully lined with a reeded roan leather sweatband. And he offers custom hat service, Indie Bash for $20. And there you see the uh, bullwhip, the 10 foot bullwhip, which is very popular with uh, indie fans. All right, David Morgan, there you go. Another popular name is Jimmy Pierce from Jimmy Pierce Designs out of Hutto, Texas. There's Jimmy. Go over here, products and services. There you see some of the hats that he's designed and made for folks. Looks like we have an indie hat there on the bottom left corner. There's his price list there. He offers also bound edge pencil roll, custom bands. Pure Beaver hat is $450. He also offers reblock, renovation, flange, and reshape rim services. Let's check out Jimmy's Facebook page. Looks like a star on that one. A smiley face. Looks like a Napoleon hat over there. couple of indie style fedoras. Jimmy also has an Instagram account. It's titled Hatter's Place. 
Hatters underscore place. There's Jimmy there. Some really nice looking offerings. Good looking hats. Jimmy Pierce Designs. Another popular name with the Indiana Jones community is David Garrison from Garrison Hatters. This is his Facebook page. And here you can find photos of his products. I found a uh, Fedora Lounge post from that website from 2013 where they were talking about David. And how even back then, they was putting out quality products. There's a Coleman camp stove. There's a Jeep. My kind of guy. And Trent Ryan, popular name in the indie community. He's a big fan of David's products. Oh, there he is now. Showing off some of David's products. David Garrison from Garrison Hatters. Up next, we have Robert Galt of Wolf Bray Custom Hatters. This is his Instagram, and he's been around for quite a while. Looks like he really enjoys his craft. He's got a lot of different styles, a lot of different colors. Looks like a lot of fun he's having over there making those hats. Check out that liner over there on the right. Contact him through Instagram, even Facebook. Oh, look at that green one. That's a nice green one there. There's an NDS cat. Robert Galt of Wolf Bray. He's got a very good reputation. Someone who I just became aware of not too long ago is Claudio Pellerito of Il Cap Pellerito Hats out of Italy. He's a big indie fan. Been making hats for a few years now and he's got some different styles. Some good looking looks there. There's Claudio there. There's Claudio on one of his indie hats. There's one of his newest creations. It's a nice looking lid. Here he is hanging out in Amsterdam. Claudio Pellerito of Il Cap Pellerito Hats. I hope you enjoyed part two of the Indiana Jones Hatters Rundown. Part three will be coming soon. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a wonderful week and God bless.